Hello my counted cross stitch friends and welcome to my channel. My name is Amanda May and this is my channel Artith Design where we celebrate sustainable stitching, needlework, and making all the things. If you are new to my channel, welcome and if you're returning stitcher, come on back to my channel. Yay! I'm so happy that you're here. This week we are going to talk about a couple of my new releases and talk about just cross stitch in general. And I've got a couple little projects that I have been working on, which are my works in progress for this week. And we're just, you know, gonna talk all about stitching. So I've, I've got my youngest playing Mario Kart and I'm hoping that we can make this video. I had to put the pugs away because Somehow, when I press play on my little, um, uh, and I start talking, they start fighting. Oh, and here are the pugs. Do you want to say hello? Do you want to say hi? Do you want to say hi? Yeah. Yeah. But it's like that love nibble, like the pug growl, which, you know, pugs are not intimidating, right? <laughs> They're just loud enough to really get picked up by the camera and microphone. So sorry you didn't get to see the little puggies today, but I hope I make up for it by showing some beautiful cross stitch. Okay, so we're going to get started. First and foremost, the bouquet of sunshine, the giveaway for the back issue of the magazine. This was uh, sent in by a viewer. Uh, this was her mother's copy of the magazine, and she passed it along to me to pass it along to one of my subscribers. Awesome, honey. He won again. And it is for the original pattern of the Bouquet of Sunshine. And the key word that you have to use if you would like to be entered in for it, it's this magazine. It's So you can either stitch the full sampler or you can do what I did and stitch just the center motif. So the key word is umbrella, umbrella, right? So if you want to be entered, um, go back to last week's video and use it in a sentence or just put umbrella and yeah, be entered to win. And I'm, I'm going to draw it next video. Uh, so please be 18 or over and please be a subscriber. Okay. I would appreciate that. So that's first and foremost is talk about sunflowers. Yay! I do want to show you. Okay. So I started putting up my sunflower stuff. I've got like my little Van Gogh sunflowers back here. Uh, and then I pulled out my lemon. This is one of my pieces that I got at a thrift store. It's dated 1980. I really like this little piece. It's super cute. It is stitched on 14 count Ada and uh, framed uh, professionally framed out of Virginia. I think it's so dang cute. And to put with the little lemons, I decided to frame up and get my little lemon lady. She is the black cat or she's kind of green cat because of the colors that I accidentally chose in the, you know, dead of night and <laughs> poor lighting. But I think it just gives her character. I added some eye, eye shadow to her. This is a Barbara Anna Designs pattern. I got it, uh, it's Lemon Cat and it was on Creative Poppy. I stitched it on a piece of 32 count fabric and I just think it's so cute. I just see an imperfection here. It's just like a little piece of <sighs> fabric dust. I tried to fit it inside of this five by seven frame that I got at the thrift store. But I'm gonna do a peek behind the curtain here. Okay, it would not fit. She was, it was just like the, it, it cut off her feet. It was just a little too, it, it didn't work. So what I did, <laughs> that's the Goodwill sticker I pulled off. I laced the piece and then, so here, and I laid it out in front of the frame and it just kind of nestles in. And then I kind of just wrapped around my thread to help secure it. So it is sitting in front of instead of behind the frame. So you can see your cute little shoes and all the things. So I have her done. So I'm just, I'm, I'm happy. I 
have her framed. Oh, and then I put up my um, You Matter and your Stitching Matters. I have this available as a embroidery kit where you can just get the little the little fabric panel and make something with it. I started making like a little quilt block with mine. So I'm really excited about that. I got some questions about this wreath right here. I assembled it, but it was a Annie's kit from the Farmhouse Style Kit Club. I have an affiliate link to their club if you want to join it like this. this it was fun to make. Um, it's all like pre-cut felt felt leaves, but you had to get them and assemble and glue. I mean, it was a labor of love and I have been moving it room to room and join it <laughs> as I go. <laughs> Yay! Okay, I had, did I have another question? Oh, the lanyard badges. And I'll, I'll talk about those when I get to my whips uh, about where do I buy them. And I have the link below and I'll show you when we get there. Okay. I want to say there's some happy mail here. I got a parcel all the way from Scotland and it is, I got a card and then my babies got sent these cute little, she handmade these little things so the kids can put them in their dollhouse. How cute is that? Is that a blue one for me? Yeah, the blue one can be for you if you want. You can't be in my video though. It, because okay. no so she made these cute little they're so cute and then I got a hand crocheted dish towel from her dad her dad's been crocheting for over 40 years and she sent me look at this beautiful dish cloth I love it so we use these at home it's one of our little sustainable things that we do here at the house and I have a little collection of them. So my husband saw them and he got really excited because he's like, oh, oh, I can add to our collection of dishcloths. <laughs> yes, it's the little things in life, right? So thank you so much. And that was my first ever package from Scotland and I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, the next thing I wanna talk about I would say the elephant in the room, but I don't have any elephants in my room, but I do have some sailboats in the room. So we are going to talk all about... Why can I hold it? Um, well, no, you can't. You can just stand right here though while I talk about it. No. Now, I have my first new release. This is Setting Sail. It's a sampler that I have and it is in the just cross stitch magazine for this month august 2021 so i'll show you the magazine right here and uh, this is a doreen jones uh piece on the cover so i'm excited and <laughs> this is setting sail it and is yeah. My son is holding set, setting sail. This is the Quaker inspired sampler that I created for just cross stitch magazine. It is in this month's issue of just cross stitch magazine. And this is a Doreen Jones piece on the cover and it's really fun. So Doreen Jones, whom I've never met, she and I are also in the issue of X Stitch Mag Magazine for this month, which is issue 16, which is the cute Mommy. edition. Hold on one second. So it's really cool. Doreen and I are in two publications in the same month. So yay, super fun. So Just Cross Stitch Magazine is setting sail. I have the directions, the finishing directions and everything how to do this. So this is a collaborative uh, project. I worked with um, Tanya, the editor, and we were able to make this. Uh, well, I, I charted everything, I stitched everything, I assembled everything. She gave me the, <laughs> the go ahead on the, uh, the boat. So I wanna Hi. show you the Bermuda boat kit from the Seaworthy Small Ships. This is a small business out of um, Maryland and so I'm so excited to use one of their kits to make this boat so the backstory to all of this is a couple years ago 
I submitted a design proposal for just cross stitch and I let her know that I the I wanted to do like a unconventional cross stitch finish. So I grabbed a board and some things and I started formulating this kind of love boat sampler idea with the boats and this and all the things, right? So this was my original design proposal to her or to the magazine and they didn't like the idea of this, but it eventually morphed in and a year and a half later published um, the blue sampler. Well, I could not get this little love boats out of my mind, okay? So this was kind of the original start of it and it would it would be like kind of cut in half and then but the two boats come together on the one well I kind of took that and ran with it and I made dun, 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 the love boat sampler yay <laughs> So this is my official new release. This You can find this on my website at artithdesign.com. Mommy. Yes, yeah, sweetie, baby. Then I set the robot crayon. Yeah, is that your robot crayon? Mm -hmm. Let me get a the camera. No, just kind of leave it there. You're going to fall off the chair. Okay. This is my piece. It is stitched on a color and cotton pink linen fabric called Petunia. It's a 32 count. And then I used all the called for, all the called for, all the color in cotton flosses for this sampler. They are stitched uh, two floss strands over two linen threads. And if you stitch this design on a 32 count, it fits in a standard eight by 10 frame. This is just a basic like plastic frame, but I really liked the colors of it. And this is this is it. So the Love Boat Sampler, it has a... This is my little box key, I said. Ew. Yeah, did you make that? Yeah. Okay. And look what I did it with. Very cool. Awesome, babe love boat sampler and I have there's if you can see there's lock key anchor birds some really fun motifs lots of little boats and this bouquet here the bouquet part of it actually looks like a boat as well so I I love this piece I've been working on it for over a year and Angela color and cotton has been amazing supportive, very helpful and knowledgeable. And we were able, we were able to make the floss pack. It's got all 13 colors that you need to stitch this design. It is 123 stitches wide uh, by 143 stitches high. And I'm just, I love it. So I have this available in print form on my website, as well as the set of the floss pack with the pattern available. Yay. And so I think these colors are really fun. I have every color of the rainbow except for purple in this palette. So you could, it's stitch my design and then you'll have some floss left over to stitch some other really fun designs. So it's exciting. Yay. All right, my work in progress is an Emma Congdon piece, Never Underestimate. What is it? Never underestimate the difference that you make. And I firmly believe that. So I got a little bit done on this. I added the tree. I made a little mistake on counting, but I was able to go back through and fit it. So I got the tree going and I have underestimate there. So I need to finish difference here. I don't have that done, but I'm excited. I am doing it with all the call for colors, except I subbed um, instead of 156, I'm using DMC 340, but I, I think it looks 
fine. And I'm using the Mint Splash um, Lugana. Yes, Mint Splash Lugana. And so I got a question about these lanyards and this. I have a cross stitching supply list below. It's uh, an affiliate link to my Amazon shop. Um, these are what I use. They're, you know, like name badge lanyards. Someone asked me how I got my pictures inside. Well, this is a picture, like thumbnail picture from a calendar. I love sloths. This is like the seventh year I've had a sloth calendar. So it is from the back of, the, of an old calendar. I cut out and put that in. But um, some of the projects that I've been working on, I made like a smaller a small working copy of my image and put that in the lanyard. Let me see if I can show you. So here I'm working on Funky Bird and Funky Bird is by Barbara Anna Designs. Love her work. And I got some of the bird worked on, but let me show you the lanyard. So no, babe, I'm doing I'm my shopping. Okay, well, she's gonna have to wait, okay? Uh, so I, I formatted it so it would fit like, you know, the size of a credit card or your library card or something. And then, so I scaled down the picture and then added it into the lanyard there. All right, so Funky Bird, I got, I'm doing all the called for, all the called for colors, everything called for. So I had the alphabet here and then I added, I got more of the bird head done. And then last night I worked on just this flower here. So I'm really excited about how this is looking. I made some I made some errors in the in the face, so I just ran with it because I don't want to take out anything. I didn't want to pick out any of my mistakes, so I just worked with the mistake. It wasn't a counting error; it was a color error, which is fine. So I'm using, like I said, all the called for everything for that. So those are the two works in progress pieces that I have been doing this week, not including my model stitches for stuff that's coming up, you know, in the months to come. Yay. So I, oh my gosh, thank you so much for joining me. If you are interested in the love boat sampler, you can find it on my website. And then the other boat, it's a boat. I watched Step Brothers the other day with um, Will Ferrell. I love Will Ferrell. And there's an inappropriate song they sing about boats. And now I look at this and all I think about is the Will Ferrell movie. How bad is that? That's bad. <sighs> Being a little ninny muggins, right? Okay. <laughs> so here's my new release. Uh, the other one's available on the magazine and uh, all this stuff. So, hey, I appreciate you for hanging out with me this week. I hope to be back soon. If you are in the United States and you celebrate... 4th of July, Independence Day. I hope that you are safe and, you know, calm. Uh, the, the fireworks give my puppy dogs um, anxiety, so it's not always the most joyous occasion when you have young children or dogs that are sensitive to noise. So I, I wish you all a, a happy and calm a holiday weekend and if you are across the world I hope that you have a beautiful weekend whatever that entails and that you are comfortable and safe and with that I will say I hope you have a great week of stitching you matter and your stitching matters until next time